Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here, and this will be an unboxing video of the Hot Toys Iron Man 3 Workshop Accessory Set, 1-6 Collectible Set. This is the ACS02, is the uh, Hot Toys number, and the sideshow number is 902240, made in China by Hot Toys. Okay, so what we have is a pretty cool little styrofoam presentation box. Um, right here it says Iron Man 3 cut into it, um, into the styrofoam itself. And there's a little sticker that says Special Edition Workshop Accessory Set, 1-6 scale collection, excuse me, collectible set, ACS-002. I don't think uh, the ACS-001 was a um, Iron Man piece, so this will be the first I think it's actually the only accessory set that they've made for the Iron Man. I think ACS-001 was another uh, line in Hot Toys. So here in the back it shows what it is. It's going to come with the, the battery to jump start the Mark 42. Or I guess any of them could be jump started with the battery if that's the case. And a special battle damaged helmet. A little stand that lights up to illuminate this helmet. Uh, another table. Uh, the first table I think came with the Mark 42 prehensile test set and some more blueprints, another set of hands, uh, some tools, another set of glasses, another Google glass. <laughs> and these were the pieces that were missing in the Mark 42 prehensile test unit, the ones that go on his arm. So they're here, a couple more magazines and some hand repulsors right there. It says workshop accessory set and the normal warnings are under adult of collectible, not a toy. Recommended for ages 15 and up, not for, not for children under 3 years old. A little packet of silica gel to keep it from being damaged. Now, do not eat this. I asked one time why they say that, and I was told that at one point they actually included this in bags of potato chips. I mean, well, not hot toys, but these little uh, packets. And they were actually inside bags of potato chips back in the old days to uh, keep the potato chips from going stale. So they wanted to make sure you didn't eat this when all you were eating your potato chips. Um, and now they just put it on everything I imagine to keep you from eating it. Because truthfully, I've never been um, so inclined to thought to think Gee, maybe I should just eat this. So I'm glad, I'm glad that they put that on there to keep me from um, being so inclined to eat it. it. This does, however, kind of look like a little pepper packet or a salt packet that you might see. So I could see how somebody could possibly get this confused, but definitely do not eat this, <laughs> whatever you do. So up here, again, just like you were shown on the back of the box, let's take this piece out of here. I don't know what can be done with this uh, styrofoam case afterwards. It looks like it'd be a great little display. I don't know what to... Uh, I'll have to see what can be done with this. I don't know. Hmm. So this is um, appears to be the same little metal table. Or, well, I don't remember if it was truly metal or not but it's designed to resemble a metal table that we had with the other set. And um, each of these wheels will spin. They don't lock down. That's what that little lever there would be, would be a lock. But they do actually roll and they do spin. Uh, so you can you know, roll them if you wish or put them in any position that you desire. And I keep mine pretty full of uh, all those accessories and junk, so I'm glad to have a second one. It does have the hole there. Um, ah, what's this? Ah, yeah, there we are. Hey, <laughs> while we doggone it, comes with instructions. Well, I don't know what could be in here, but we do need to read the instructions. We can't go without doing that. Now, obviously, I know what these are. These are the stickers for the battery. That's pretty cool. Um, but the, 
for some reason though they appear pretty cheap. It looks like almost they just printed them on a regular piece of paper. I don't know if they're actually stickers or what they are. And I wonder why they didn't put them in on like a, a plastic shiny paper. I mean that just really looks, I don't know. Uh, there's a function, obviously. It will do its job, uh, which is what I want, compared to just a regular black battery. A black battery would work too. But that's interesting. It would be like that. Let's just set that right here. Let's open this up and see what actual instructions have come with this. Oh, okay. Well, I'm getting a little peek here. So it opens up into one big sheet. And the first one talks about the circular base for the... Uh, the helmet and it says that it uses AG10s, three AG10s. The Mark Civet helmet will fit on there. Looks like it has a little ball joint, top of the neck joint there. We'll have to look at that in a minute. Looks like maybe it gives you two different ball joints, one for the Mark 7 and one for the Iron Patriot War Machine Mark II. Okay, so I, I see there's two different sizes. You have the bigger one and the smaller one. Well, that's cool. So you can put instead of just, I'm assuming, We'll find out in a moment. It looks like you can possibly put other helmets on there other than just the one that's included, but depending on which ones you want to put on there. Well, that's cool. You can display whichever one you want. So it's light up. Here they show the number three on there or the helmet stand. So you can do either or. In case you wouldn't have an Iron Man 3, then you can do that. And this side. All right. So I guess it is good they gave us instructions. I couldn't think at first why there would be any instructions, but now I guess this makes sense. They call it the in construction bicep armor piece is what that is. And it says it's gonna be attached to one six scale 20 start with the Mark 42 autonomous prehensile propulsion suit test version. That's what it was called. People like to call it the mech test version, but it's not. It's, that's the actual name for it. The Mark 42 autonomous prehensile propulsion suit test version. So it shows you there used to attach it on by putting it on the figures biceps as shown and use a small metal clip. So it appears to be the same style a metal clip that we have on the Mark II Armor Unleashed. So uh, you don't want to lose that, otherwise you'll be super gluing it on. And here are some homemade repulsors. The homemade repulsor can be attached to the Hot Toys. Uh, Tony Stark collectible figures. Slip the repulsor onto the figure's palm and then complete as shown. Um, it may fit on others. So let's say for instance you wanted to use Oh gosh, I don't know. Maybe in your play you have Scarlett Johansson's figure, Black Widow, come along and put that bad boy on. Put some hurt on somebody. I don't know. That'd be interesting. And here we have some repulsor palms. A pair of repulsor palms can be attached to the Hot Toys of Miss Iron Man collectible figures. So it's saying all of them. And it appears it's probably the standard Mark IV, Mark VII. Pretty much the same style that we see on all of them. Uh, for the most part, most of the hands are one style hand. Some of them, like the Mark 42, you'll see different paints or the ones that are different colors. But if it's a, a red hand, for the most part, they're all pretty much the same. There's only just a few differences. Here's the battery booster. Uh, it has a positive and a negative. So I imagine there's a red and a black cable that must come with this to represent that. Red is what we normally use for positive, or that's the hot one, and, and black is what we normally use for negative, but you can do it anyhow you want. If you want it to be backwards, you can do that. However, in real life, if you go backwards, you'll blow yourself up. You don't want to do that. So just do it properly the first time and get into the habit of it. If you're ever in a situation where you're really doing this, then you'll know the proper way of doing it. So I guess they give you extra stickers, but there's only two identical sides on each one of these. You have the two long sides and the two short sides and I guess in case you damage your sticker you can put them on there again and so let's just put the sticker onto the battery booster shown that's your red cable to the plus side the black cable to the negative side so they tell you to do that as such and slip the cable under the Hot Toys Mark 42 collectible figures chest armor complete as shown so it says to slide that up underneath there to make it look like as if he's using himself and there you have it for the instructions. Let's get these out of here. Let's see. Ah, here we are. That's simple enough. I'm going to get the other one so we can compare that. And I'm also going to uh, grab a, a couple other helmets 
we can test that. And let's see, what do we have here? Nice little battle damage one for the battle damage collection. Oh, this is nice. Uh, I have to notice this real quick. This piece here, it goes on the inside. I like that. And uh, I like that, that's all I can say. I'm glad to see that. Let's see if this comes off. No, they've uh, they glued that on there. I'm wondering though. But yeah, it's this is uh, where this is severed at. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, I'd modify my pieces sometimes. And this one I won't be taking apart. I was looking at it thinking, oh, I could probably take off this face plate even though it's glued on. But no, it's cut all the way up to the top. And it would be more hassle than not. Unless I were to cut it right there. I would have to cut it. This is all this molded. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hmm, just rambling at this point. So, sorry. But uh, you're seeing it as I see it. That's why I do my unboxing videos the way that I do them. So that both of us get the same view on this at the same time. I like to share with you my excitement and my confusion. So, okay, that just lifts off easy enough. Stark reactor there. That's cool. And it doesn't. So I, I guess that would be the back, and that would be the front. This really doesn't matter. I don't know if this is anything he really used in the movie. I, I don't think so. Um, it is cool, but it is what it is, which is just a thing to display your helmets. I suppose if you wanted to. Hmm, Get a whole bunch of them and display all 50 helmets. What's that you say? 50? Oh, yeah. You've got Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, blah, blah, blah. 42, 43. 4 is the Hulkbuster, right? 45, 46 are coming out. Why can't I not get this back on? Uh, I see. There's only certain spots where it's going to go in. 45 and 46 have just been announced. Iron Patriot, War Machine Mark One, War Machine Mark Two, War Machine Mark Three, Iron Legion, Whiplash. I mean, you've got uh, 50 helmets there, so um, yeah. But I suppose if you wanted to get a hold of one of these for all of them and display them, now it's interesting that it went back on with the two bigger tabs here and the two smaller tabs here. So, and the helmet was facing this direction, so I guess they wanted that to be the front there. I don't know, maybe you could uh, put on there you know, Mark 7 or whatever. But, uh, you know, they, they, why don't they make this available, just this, you know, for that purpose of displaying all 50 helmets? I don't know, what would they sell this for? A few bucks? Dude, if they sold it for ten dollars, you'd be making money hand over fist, just selling just this. And I don't know. Would I drop five hundred dollars on these? Who knows? Okay, yeah. So I would say that this will fit on any one of them. So this is not light up, but you could put, you know, your uh, light up helmet on there. And the other little peg is right there. For the larger ball joint so this is your standard one so you can display any one you want now you won't be able to display this this doesn't come with one you could just slap it on there if you wanted to but this is one that's going to sit on the shelf or on the table or wherever and let's have a look at this mark 7 helmet never seem to have enough of these mark 7 helmets i don't know why uh, again it's a, a helmet that's used on a lot of other figures and so the, the Mark III uses this, the Mark IV uses this, the Mark VI uses this, uh, and several of the other figures, the Mark 21, although it's gold. I believe the Mark 20 does, I don't remember. Uh, I'll have a video up soon that will tell you all the different ones. 
So here we are. Now it comes off. I, I thought it was going to be on there tight, but this is a light up one. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Oh yeah. So we have a nice little light up. Mark 7 moment right there. That's cool. So he's interchangeable with the others helmets so it's nice clean really super battle damage and nice and clean right there so there we have it so we'll move on to the next piece here i think it was the prehensile test that came with the other um, magazines and blueprints so we have here uh, a blueprint of the I can't tell what mark or if there even is a specific mark on here. I don't see it. Looking at that helmet, I'm going to say mark 42 um, based off of that helmet design right there. I can't tell exactly. I think that's a mark 42. Set you right there. And there's another one. And I'm gonna guess Mark 7 based off of that helmet. Just guessing here. Uh, if I had really good vision, I'd be able to look at that and tell you for a fact what it is. I'm just going to guess it's a Mark 7. I can't really tell the fact it really is. There we go. There's that one. And this one is... Well, that one actually says Mark 42 on it. So no question about which one that one is. There's a little... <laughs> All those little circles on there. I suppose one's the Jarvis, one's the Arc Reactor, that's his shield. I don't know what the others are. Which little circles he has. Maybe each one needs something. Just tell me in the description if you know what that is. I'd appreciate that. Alright, and here we have the magazines. Let's have a look at those. That says HT, which obviously stands for Hot Toys, this is Iron Man special. Tech behind the armor. Tony Stark on being Iron Man. What's really cool about these is is the micro printer in here. It's actually you can actually read this. Now uh, as you get older you start losing your ability to read micro print like this. And you have to put your reading glasses on or magnifying glass, but really cool how they did this. It's actually legible enough to be able to be read. Now one thing I wish they had was a little red and silver attache that you could actually open up and uh, put these in there to carry them around like as if it's a little resume file or something. I don't know. But this is cool. These are um, scenes from some of the movies. Yeah, the Iron Man 3 movie actually. Scenes from the Iron Man 3 movie. Not some of the movies, Iron Man 3. So, there's that. And here's this one. It says, Hot News. Weekly Hot News. Iron Man saves the day from Alien Invasion. Hot News number 609. And, again, scenes from the movie. Little stories here. This is pretty cool. Advertisement for clean energy, Stark Industries. That, you know, that little cell phone you have is darn cool. Um, commandeered uh, the uh, other company's hesitation. All right, let's set that right there. So this is the Mark 42 Prehensile Tony Stark. 
testing can start right here and this is the little uh, headpiece that came with that set and let's compare it to this one and it appears to be a little uh, white residue glue we have right here it's not on the other one so I don't know that uh, what caused that but looks to be the same piece ah no look at that there is a difference there's a difference right there how about that so it is a little bit different here Just a little, it's a plastic off of that Google Glass the Google Glass right there there we go all right let's see what else we have oh this was the the number three that they gave you there you know what I don't see I don't see batteries I guess they didn't include the batteries for this let's turn this off it doesn't light up without them I, it's too light I could tell there's no batteries in there but then again they don't include the batteries for any of the bases I don't know why they didn't include those little batteries it's, regular Iron Man batteries but truthfully I have a lot of those batteries so I'm not too worried about it um they have back to this so this goes here like such in case you wanted to display a number three I don't believe three means anything else to Tony Stark um maybe it does I have no idea kind of a I don't know. Maybe it's worthless to some point. I mean, what would I ever do with this, really? I don't know. I don't know. It's not really an M. It's not really a Sigma. It's... It is what it is. It is a 3. Set that right there. Let's put this back on here again. And in here we have... little repulsor hands right here and they're the ones that will allow the light to pass through them so the, 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 the mark 4 mark 7 as I was saying repulsor hands Those right there and here's the uh, ball joint for the larger style uh, helmets so that this one will snap onto that and you have a little notch there so it's not easy it is to take it out of here it takes a little bit of effort I think that pulls out simple enough you can see you have a little notch right there and then you would just slide that in as such. And now you could display an Iron Patriot uh, war machine style head on there if you wanted to do that one instead. Whichever your heart's desire would be for that. Let's put the one seven back on here. So four, three, six. And we have our battery. And there's your positive, and there's your negative. And those don't move. 
definitely molded onto that or glued on very tightly. Um, the handle doesn't move either. It's definitely up. No doubt about that. How easy it is to put one of these on. I guess I'm pleased with that placement. It says Road Warrior Maximum Power Extreme Energy Auto. Don't remember if stickers go on the side of a normal battery or not. It's been a while since I've had to change a battery in a car. I if I can get one right there up top. I'll use my tweezers for that. I'm going to be hard headed. I'll try to slide it in under there. Maybe it's a little neat on those pliers we have here. Oh, yeah. There we are. Now we're talking. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Yep, need on those pliers that come and with the set. We're at it. There's the uh, wire cutters, or dikes, as some people like to call them. One set of dikes, and a black screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver right there and here's the wrist holsters to go on his hand Let's see how those work yeah don't seem to fit really well on this particular hand maybe on another hand it will fit better Here's the bicep pieces right here. Two of those. And yeah, there's a little clippy just like on the Mark II Armor Unleashed. Don't want to lose that little clip there. Let's see if we can get this on here. Spin it upside down, did I? Not that it would uh, snap in specifically. I guess it does. Just takes a little bit of niggling there. It was a tight fit around that shirt. I'll put that in right here. There we go. Alright. So it's, it's tight around that shirt. So you may want to just move the shirt up a bit to get it on there. Yep. There it is. It is on there now. Let's get the uh, Mark 42 out of here. There we are. Got our Mark 42 in here. Ah, you know what? I was saying earlier that they didn't include the batteries for the base. And I'd be doggone. There they are. So excuse me for saying they're not there. Because they are. Right there. So let's put the cables onto this. 
pretty cool. They give you little um, ties that are the same color as the cables. And this is not an electrical wire here. This is just a plastic rubber. So we'll put the red into the red into the plus. That doesn't want to stay. You know, you, you know, looks like you have to uh, glue that in there if you want it in permanently. It doesn't uh, it doesn't snap in or anything. It just goes in and comes out way too easy for you to not have it in there. Um, and expect it to stay. Now the black one's a little tighter. Now the black one will definitely go in there and stay. That one's in there good. This red one, it doesn't go in there as good. It wants to uh, come in and out. It's not going to stay in there. If I want that to stay, I'll have to glue that. And this piece is uh, shaped, contoured for the chest here. So just, um, I guess you just slide it up in there, is what it looks like. There we go. Just run up in there like such. And I'll give this a little. And a curl here to hold that battery in place. Now he is jump started. Let's turn it around the other way so we can keep these batteries from being, the cables from being all crisscrossed around. Put those fingers up. Alright, so now he's jump started. Let's put him back in his case. I love these little toys box cases here. I recommend them. Door is a little difficult to get in position specifically. It, it gets in there. And we are. Put you back there. He's got his little battery on. And let's put this on his head. This is a new one. I'm going to put this on here. Google Glass. All right, so there you have it. The Iron Man 3 workshop accessory set for one six scale collectible Iron Man figures or any 1-6 scale um, collectible, any 1-6 scale anything. And so thanks for watching everyone. Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald and at Twitter at Siri Emerald, Instagram. Give me a thumbs up for the video. Like and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section below what you think of this collection. I don't know if it's available still brand new from anybody. You may have to get this from a third party uh, retailer, but I think it's worth it. Uh, I think it was $100 or thereabouts, maybe a little more, but um, it's worth it, in my opinion. Uh, get the extra helmet, the hands, the battery, these pieces, which are the only place that you can get them in. So if you need to add that to there. Uh, little magazines and the extra table so thanks for watching everyone and see you on the next video happy collecting